What is going on fishing freaks? Welcome back to another awesome RX Angler video. Today I'm staying local here in Freeport because we have some high south southwest winds. So this marsh that I am at in Freeport is going to protect us from those winds for majority of the part. It's still hot, launching a little bit early. Hopefully get an early bite, get my fish, get what I need to do to make a video and leave. We're going to be targeting redfish, flounder, and speckled trout as always. Going to be using a bunch of variety of lures. We're going to start off with bugs in the morning, go to a paddle tail, and if the bite gets tough, we'll go to the gulp. Make sure you hit that like button. Please comment. It helps my analytics. Just leave any comment, man. Just say comment or something. I don't know. And say anything. That's cool too. I read all of them and I appreciate all the time you put in. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can get you a good video today. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look how beautiful this is. I know you can't really see much. We're, we're, we've launched right at sunrise. The sun is coming up from over there. I got my buddy Ben with me. We're gonna be searching for redfish, flounder, and speckled trout. Love this local spot. It's always been good to me. Hopefully it, <laughs> it keeps up with today too. Uh, it's gonna be hot, so we're gonna try to make this a quick one. God's creation is truly amazing. Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. Mother Nature surrounded all around you. That's how God intended to create this beautiful world for us human beings. But anyways, yes, thank you for clicking on the video. Let's see if we can catch some fish today. All right, the game plan is quite simple. We're gonna be targeting structure like grass flats, oyster beds like oyster beds over here, looking for blow up, chasing the bait, and hopefully we can get lucky and snag a few. And right off the bat, there's some good activity right at this grass line right here. I think I've, I saw two nice blow ups so far. So I'm just gonna kind of blind cast and maybe it'll come right at me. I'm gonna kind of stay my distance from this grass line just in case they're kind of running like this, uh, um, parallel to the grass line so I don't spook anyone or anything rather and see if we can get lucky that way. Hey Ben, looks like there's some activity here again. Hey, you see that point right there, that grass point? Fish that, there's a lot of activity right there. But don't get too close to it, you know what I mean? Stay your distance. Let your uh, lure work the bottom. Got something Ben? Yeah. I told you. My buddy Ben got something that looks like a red. Nice buddy, good job. My friend Ben just caught a red. Nice job, buddy. Where'd you catch him? Exactly where I told you? Yeah, that was <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I saw it, man. No, he's probably about... Oh, just, just, just under 20. No, he's probably right at 20 because you have him all bent up. I would say about 20. He looks like 20 and three quarters. Hold him up, let me see. Yeah, he's right at 20, bro. That's a good fish, man. Good job. You fired up now, man? <laughs> yeah, they were, they were, they yeah, right were at that corner, on, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you, man? Bait activity is fair. Water level is pretty low. But seeing bait pop and some shrimp here and there, that's that's pretty encouraging. I said, I'm going to be looking for some blow ups here and targeting some oysters in just a sec. There we go. Finally got that guy that was blowing up the bait. Feels like a good speck. Feels like a good speck. Or it's a red. <laughs> a small red. Yeah, but they at least are active. Okay. 
There we go. Got something on. Seems like a redfish. Very lucky catch. Just kind of saw some bait and just do right at it. Think thought nothing of it. And he was hanging right at it. And what is this? Is this a redfish? He's got some plum. Might be a catfish. It is a catfish. <laughs> There we go. Nice pull. Feels like a flounder. Right that corner. Yes, it's a nice freaking keeper flounder. That's what I'm talking about. Get in here, buddy. Oh no, get in here. Oh, he's pulling drag, man. We got you, buddy. We got you. Yes. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Man, that's a nice flounder. Pushing probably 18 inches. Yeah, 17 and a half. But still, look at that man. Very lucky to catch him. Caught him right there on the apex with the water coming in. A lot of bait movement. Man, really happy. Got dinner right here, boy. Might do a catch and cook. All right, we're going to get a measurement on this big fat boy right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, he was 17 inches when I put him on. And then he jumped out. Dang, man. I thought I had a catch and cook. Well, uh. Well, that's encouraging that I caught a flounder. So that means they're here. They're just kind of very hard to catch. <laughs> I was watching you this whole time, bro. Hey. Oh, because I got recorded. It was funny. <laughs> You, you're running it right into it again. Why would you, why would you fish near that? Why would you fish near that, dude? I just don't understand. You don't need to catch a buoy. It's right there in front of you. There we go. Something's pulling. I hope it's that gar. He has some strength. And, but I am using BFS and it's a big giant croaker, bro. Holy crap, dude. That's a giant croakers, man. Korean people will love this. Dang, man. That's a nice freaking croaker, man. Good fried fish. A lot of people love croaker, but we're going to let him go. There we go. Oh, that's a nice puller. Okay. Might be a flounder. Caught him right at this drain. Water is moving pretty good. Oh, what is this? Hopefully it's another good flounder. Hopefully. It feels like actually it might be a redfish. Oh, let's just call it a swordfish. And it's a red. I was going to say, is it gaff top? No way. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to be red. Right that border limit redfish. Right, 19 and a half. All right, but you never know. May reach 20. May reach 20. Let's see. 19 and a half inches, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Man, I'm good at math. All right, buddy. Losing in the slot. There you go. Drain right here coming out. Just fishing the bottom. It's already hot. The water temp's already up there. So, I mean, it just makes sense. Just fishing the bottom, right? Where the bottom's going to be much cooler than the surface temp. Another one. <laughs> what is this? Another speckled trout. Speckled trout. See, this this drain is actually pretty good, bro. <laughs> man, there. Oh, dang, man, that was a good fish, huh? That felt like a good fish, people. Dude, I am like nursery school, bro. Another croaker. All right, man, I gotta stop. I gotta stop fishing these small little guys. You want a croaker for, to soak them and throw it out there? No. There we go. Nice speckled trout. That's a keeper speck. That's a keeper speck. Ooh, he's pulling some drag, baby. 
Get in there, buddy. Man, being persistent pays off. Look at that speck, man. That's probably 16, close to 17. Oh, yeah, that's a nice speckled trout. Got some nice meat on him. We're going to give this to my buddy Ben because he has to cook dinner for his child. All right. Once again, easy money. We're just slow fishing, fishing the bottom and just getting dumped just like that. It's another speckled trout, I believe. Oh, dang, that was another keeper, bro. Okay, let's get pull. Might be another flounder. The way he feels, he's pulling down. Yep, it's another good flounder. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Get in here. We got you. Yes. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 16 and a half, 17 inch flounder. Two keeper flounders and a keeper, keeper speckled trout. The day kind of started slow, but man, we are tearing it up. I'm using gulp. I mean, what can I say? The fishing is tough. Sometimes you gotta use gulp and look what we got. <laughs> what a great day, man. Started out slow, but we ended up catching three keepers. So now it's time in that video where I like to share my equipment that I'm using so you guys are well informed today. Well, majority of the fish that was caught is my BFS setup. This is the Shimano Calcutta Conquest BFS for 2023. I made an unboxing review video if you haven't checked it out. I'll leave a card link right over here so you guys check it out. It's a great, great reel. And I have a, di a discount code for Digitaka. Send me a DM through uh, Instagram and I'll hook you up with that uh, discount code. We're also using the brand new Old 18 Kinetic BFS rod. Not yet in the market. This is pretty much a prototype. But so far, it has been a freaking beast, man. And the price is going to be right. I can't wait till Old 18 releases to you guys to purchase. This is a great, great rod setup, especially for the, uh, let's say, thrifty mindseted people that are looking for your bang for your buck. This right here is going to be one of the bang for your buck BFS rods in the whole wide world, honestly. We are using Veravus 1.0 gauge braided line. I also have a discount code for the Veravus line. There's a, it's right in the description box below. Also, yes, I have Old 18 discount RX Angler 20, say 20% off your order. At the end, we're using 12 pound fluorocarbon leader from Veravus. Also, my discount code applies to that. It's in the description box below. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love to hear your opinion about my videos, my fishing method styles, all that good stuff. I, you know, I, I respect all you guys out there that watch my videos and take the time out. Dude. I, you guys do it and I love you for it. But anyways, guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful Texas coast. I'm enjoying life and we'll catch you guys on the next one.